Hey, hello and welcome back everybody. This is another LEGO City update from Rubric. Brief overview of our city. This is LEGO City update number three. Um, and it's the fourth week in January. So to put it into perspective, we had uh, update city update number two um, just one week ago, and we've made quite a bit of progress. So no new work to um, the rock work up in front of the city, but I'll be working on that for the next week. Here's an aerial shot of our city square. Um, not a lot of changes there. However, comma, I think that we've come up with a pattern that we would like to use throughout our Lego City uh, Town Square. So while looking for inspiration on Instagram and Flickr and Pinterest, we came across um, a few examples, something similar to this, that uh, other Lego artists have used. Um, and most notably, Steve5010 on Flickr used a building technique similar to this um, that we thought would be extremely appropriate because our old town square is really going to, to end up or is, is intended to look like an old European feel town square. Rock walls, old towers, um, and other whatnots. Next, we've got the train tracks coming up. I guess it's really our trolley tracks coming from coming from the new town. This is the bridge that we've built over the last week. It was here last week, but uh, but no real detail to it. Um, Quite happy with the way this turned out. We got some lights on it, some handrails, a little bit more detail work that we'd like to do with wires and cables and other, you know, um, structural reinforcement and maybe all of the municipal support coming from the new area to the old old area. Um, a little broken down boat right there and our parking lot I think that turned out rather well some little oil spots in there a bunch of people have been asking on Instagram um, if trams or if trains are making it up the train tracks, okay. Now, this particular one is um, a set build from one of the town town square sets at the city city sets. Um, and because it's hinged at the top and the bottom, it does not like to flex uh, up and down. This is just here for, for staging uh, to show intent, uh, but it does not like to make this, this crest here in the transition from flat to incline. However, the heavy hauler train makes it up there just fine. Um, all the way up and all the way down, nice and smooth. We've got a couple of test runs and the wife has found pictures on the internet of what we would like our future tram, our city tram, to look like. So we'll be starting that within the next week or so as you can see we had to we had to pull parts from the train tracks to complete this so we'll be ordering parts a lot of one by one tiles to to order um lots of bricks lots and lots and lots of parts to order um we've come up with a type of rock work that we would like to use for this wall this retaining wall so the plan is to have 
a very detailed rock work come from the pier down here or from the walkway um, probably two-thirds of the way up transition into a rock wall similar to what you can see at the front front of the, the town city in the town square and then transition up and then have these towers in three of the four corners and maybe the fourth one will be very distressed and, and coming down kind of falling apart. Um, there's that, if you've not seen that bridge from this angle. Quite happy with the way everything is turning out. These paths used to line up in a previous setup, but uh, they're just placeholders. We're going to try to, to do LEGO City updates every weekend. Hopefully we can, we can stick to that. Um, if we've got stuff to show, then we'll do a LEGO City update. Uh, if not, then please be patient. And thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the support, all the likes, the comments, um, comments, suggestions, concerns and all of the support thus far. We really, really appreciate it, and we are very happy and very much enjoy showing and uh, sharing our LEGO City with you. So thank you much, and we will see you next time.